everyone. Josh or the Hammock Haver. I'm here at the absolutely stunning and gorgeous Tumbling Waters Cavern as part of the Porter Cave system. And I brought with me a new light. So right here what we have is the Orca Torch B530. It's a very robust uh, aluminum bodied LED flashlight. has a Cree LED in it. And I'll post some of the specs on it. Sorry it's so loud, but we've had a lot of rain, so the water is really flowing. Okay, uses a 3400 milliamp hour USB rechargeable 18650 lithium ion battery. Looks just like an 18650, except it has a micro USB port. There's also a red and green indicator light that tells you whether it's charged or not. Three O-ring seals. It's good for a depth of up to 150 meters. Whole unit just screws together like this. And on the front, you have an on-off button. What's really nice as well is that inside, it's gonna be harder to see, but you can see the green light is on. It has a charge indicator on there. So you've got green for 100% to 80%, orange, for less than 80 to 40 percent i think red um to show that your battery is going down it's got two stages bright medium and off by pressing and holding the power button all right so it's locked so you can't accidentally turn it on unless you double press it then it comes back on two flashes indicating that it's back to be unlocked all right so in this review we're going to take this light in that cave see how it does now this is a narrow beam um, so it's not going to be like a floodlight but I don't know we'll give her a try we may not go very deep the water is flowing really really fast and it's actually deeper than I've ever seen it before here all right, so here we are at the mouth of Porter Cave. This is about where it gets dark. And the only light I'm using right now is the Orca Torch D530 light. As you can see, it does have a narrow concentrated beam of light in the center. However, with the reflectors and stuff, it actually spreads some of the light out pretty nicely. So if I can keep the beam out of the focus of the shot, it actually highlights some of these features very nicely. Porter Cave is pretty well known for its uh, exquisite rimstone formations. There's a little salamander. There's about 10 or 12 in there I counted last. So looking at these rimstone formations is really nice. Here's the light in action. Just pressing the button. I do have an auxiliary light but as you can see the beam really really enhances the lighting. This is more for use as a dive light or just an above land light but even in a cave, it's pretty nice. As you can see, it's a very humid day, so the humidity is very high, as you can see from the moisture in the air. But you can see that the beam does travel relatively far, even underground and in the dark. The beam is throwing about 60, 70 feet in front of me. It could be more, but there's a lot of rock in the way and things of that nature. Here's a little bit of a different cave. We are in uh, Bo's Tunnel in Clifty Falls State Park. And I'm really glad I had this with me in my pocket. Because even though my camera light is really good, this light is about twice as bright. So it really was able to shine in on some of the details and features of this cave. As well as provide a little bit more adequate lighting. And this does conclude my review of the Orca Torch D530. Overall, I'm very impressed and very satisfied. I like these products and outdoor equipment expert. As always, thanks for watching.